Hey, it's Big John R. Buy, sell, trade, and give stuff away on Swap Shop, Saturday mornings at 7 on the Talk Station. Viewpoints on the Talk Station, FM 107, AM 1240. Kind of excited about the upcoming interview. And to all those who've called in, thank you for your participation this evening here on Viewpoints. Viewpoints, of course, on the Talk Station, FM 107, AM 1240. Um, I publicized this uh, my plans for this evening's program earlier, and um, this is an important story, one that actually has meaning to me, I might add, for a variety of reasons, one, because of my military experience. The topic is uh, actually about a book, but it's about a book, Danny, The Virtues Within. It's a book about Danny Dietz, and you may or may not know who Danny Dietz is, but if you've seen the book, the movie, Lone Survivor, uh, this is one of the individual's in that uh, movie, Danny Dietz. And it's a real honor and a pleasure to first welcome his mother, Cindy. And with that, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you uh, on the line with us this evening. And to Jeremy Dunlap, he is the author. And with that, Jeremy, good evening. Thank you as well for joining us. Oh, thank you. It's, a, it's an honor to speak with you. No, no, it's the other way around. It's an honor for, uh, for you to be here with us this evening. The movie, of course, Lone Survivor, I was talking to folks I have not seen it. I talked to an individual who expressed a great deal of frustration, he, um, about just the, the whole concept of warfare, the, uh, the experience that these SEAL team members went through. Uh, my first question to you, and, and I'm asking you on this one, Jeremy, how close to reality do you think this, the, the movie is to the story that you've been able to research as well through your book? Well, really, I'll tell you, Cindy does a great job answering those okay. kind of things as they've been to the premiere, I, and I'll, I'm gonna, I'll let right. her answer that. But I, I will tell you that, um, you know, I just have the utmost respect for Peter Berg and his work, and, and I've learned about that through Cindy. So actually, Cindy's a great right. one to answer that question. Cindy, to you on that one, then. My apologies. Okay. Um, again, I'll um, have to thank Peter Berg, Marcus Luttrell, and all that was involved, um, including the, the actors that portrayed our sons, um, they put their heart and their soul into this movie uh, with great pride and honor, uh, wanting to honor and respect our sons that, um, that gave their all that, uh, that day on that mountain. Um, it's, a very, it's a very dramatic... Um, a true war story, and um, this is this is what uh, this is real life. Absolutely, and and in the process, the families yourself are living with this after the fact. And before I even get into the book, how do you balance that? We're talking about a deceased son who has given his ultimate on behalf of this country. How do you deal with that? On a and, and, I, and I apologize if that's a, a, a painful question, and, and so I, I, I can understand uh, it's, your response. It's 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 very difficult. Um, yeah. It's a it's a I now walk a new walk of life. Um, I I'm learning to walk in my new norm of life mm-hmm. without my son, although. I'm very proud of my son. I'm very proud of, of who he was. He was the best of the best. And I, I fully support what he, was, what he was doing, although I didn't know at the time my son was in the danger he was in. Unfortunately, I didn't know a whole lot about the military and, and really what a SEAL was. And you know, I really didn't learn a whole lot about what a SEAL was until after my son was killed, then, you know, I started really seeking out and knowing what these guys do. And, but for me, it's, it's, it's a day-to-day, a minute-to-minute walk. Um, one day I could be fine. The next day I could be living the knock on my door mm-hmm. again. One of our, my, my former co host who lost her brother in Vietnam, commented and and I think that your story is a perfect example of her observations your son Danny rose his hand took the uh, took the oath he volunteered 
uh, as Connie would always point out, the family members, that is you, your husband, all the family members, were drafted. <laughs> I know, involuntarily, you suddenly were in the military as well. And more so than anyone else, you, you definitely are, are living with those scars and, and, and that challenge. So I, I just think that, and, and here in my program, I am constantly making note of the family members, those that keep the home fires burning and how important you are and how much of an impact and yes, loss uh, you experience. So I just want you to understand from, this is a, a heartfelt personal comment to you, how much we appreciate your contribution. Yes, ma'am, your contribution. And I will not belabor that any further. My apologies. And to, thank you. But to our guest, and I, I want to thank them so much for being with us this afternoon. I hope that those who have not had the opportunity to see the movie will go see the movie because I've, I've heard great things about it. Let's talk now about the book. Danny, The Virtues Within, and the author, Jeremy Dunlap, joins us. And Jeremy, how did you get into this book? How do you, how do you start with some, what What motivated you? Well, it, actually, in the prologue of the book, it, it, it tells the story of, of me meeting Cindy. And um, one of the reasons I, I like her to answer about the movie versus the, the actual incident and things is they lived it. You know, it's like when I tell veterans and they want me to sign their book, you know, mm-hmm. they, they fought the war. Mm-hmm. I've been honored to work with Cindy and, and Dan and, and to, to do the book. But this family lived it, and that's what the whole Section 7 is about. Um, how I started, you know, we, we started a couple of different avenues, ended up with this uh, essay of virtues and what we learned, because we wanted to write a book of life, not just a book of, about an incident. Uh, we did not want to focus on the operations, uh, or the Operation Red Wings itself, a whole lot. We wanted to talk about Danny uh, when he was more commonly known by the family as DJ when he was a child. And the virtues that were deep within this guy long before he hit the beaches of Navy SEAL training. And so the other day on the radio, someone asked uh, Dan and I, how do you start something like this? And my answer was, for me, it was about looking upwards and looking inwards. And um, we just wanted to show America the the true hero this guy was, even really long before he was a Navy SEAL. Cindy, with that as sort of a background, does that, in some fashion, give you greater strength uh, having read the book and and watched it through a third party's eyes? Somebody that, you know, uh, just a third party. Not you, not your husband, not other family members. Does Does it strengthen you in this process? And, and, and the other question is, do you see this as an opportunity to strengthen other mothers? By the way, I want to mention you're associated with the Gold Star Mothers Association. So does this, is, do you see this as an opportunity to strengthen other mothers who may or may not have lost their, their loved ones? Absolutely. Um, I have um, Blue Star Mother friends as well as other Gold Star Mother friends. And, you know, I've been able to reach out to our newer Gold Star Mothers in a way nobody else can because I've walked in the shoes they're walking in now. Mm-hmm. This story, uh, th- this book that that Jeremy wrote, with our help, we wanted people to know our son. We wanted people, I, I wanted people not to forget my son. And the... The normal, the normal DJ that was my my boy before, before he became the man he became, before he became the hero he became. I I want people to know that person and to not forget. And I believe with every gold star mother and father or sibling or spouse or friend, they don't want them to be forgotten. It's it's. It's my biggest fear. I can't speak for everybody, but that's my biggest fear, is that my, my boy will be forgotten. I don't it, think so, but uh, I, I understand your, your concern. Uh, Jeremy, you're writing the book about the virtues of a young man in an environment and in a culture that really does not applaud and hold up high those same virtues. 
Do you see that as kind of an interesting contrast? As And were you seeing that as you were writing the book? Well, actually, um, I, I'm on the other side of the spectrum. As a guy who travels the country uh, right. quite a bit, I, I see a lot of good people. I, okay. I see people who are hungry uh, for these stories, hungry for these virtues, whether it be in their place of worship and politics and the place of business and leadership, education. People in this country are tired of a lot of what we've been seeing, and they're ready to see more of okay. Danny Dietz and, and his fellow teammates. They, they want to see the courage and, and the steadfastness. They, they want to see the integrity and that steadfast uh, behavior that says, I will never quit. I'm never out of the fight. You know, Danny gave his life for our freedom. Mm-hmm. And that is what we can never forget. Guys like you and I who love this country, we can't forget that. And I always say the greatest way we can honor DJ, the greatest way we can honor Danny and every other fallen warrior is to live a life different and better because of their sacrifice. And I, you know, quite frankly, with the companies I work with and so on and so forth, people want these virtues. Okay, I've, I've had the pleasure and honor of talking to a lot of Marines, young Marines. As a matter of fact, talked to a corporal one time who ended up being the mayor of a town in Iraq, of all things, and fascinated by uh, what I'm seeing in the eyes of these young men and women um, after their experiences in uh, war zones. Uh, and, of course, we have a major contingent of Marines in our community. I'm, I'm wondering, the, the very virtues that you saw in Danny and, and you identify in the book, and, and, of course, the result of his parents who uh, were so strong in, in imbuing those, uh, those standards and, and the criteria. Do you see this as a, um, and I've been saying, do you see this as, as an opportunity for a change in this country? And, and as you said a moment ago, there's a thirst for this kind of quality? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, you know, when I say a thirst, you know, the byline of the book is what America can learn from Navy SEAL Danny Dietz. Mm-hmm. And, and I think there is a thirsting for people to learn more you know, uh, Cindy and I and Dan, we've heard comments back from the book. Uh, we've had a couple schools interested in buying the book. Uh, we've had people who have said, you know, I'm reading this book to my children. Uh, we've had, I've had one guy who's been dealing with some personal issues that said that the book and DJ stories and what we draw from them has been a huge motivator in him putting some pieces of his life back together. And, and I just think at where we are as a nation, um, we're at a crossroads. And I think that crossroads could be mended by more stories uh, such from guys just like DJ. And that's my, my argument, is that there's more good people out there in the country than on the other side. And I work, you know, so far I've been blessed. I work quarterly with the United States Marine Corps with what I get to do in life. And uh, that's where I see it at times. I, I, I have gotten to see some of these men and women who are serving on behalf of my freedom and what's inside them. Um, it makes me want to be stronger, better, uh, almost faster, if you will, more courageous, more steadfast. Uh, and, and that's what DJ stories offer us. And um, I think we're at a critical time in our nation and in our freedom. And, 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 and these are the virtues. You know, Danny held virtues that are the basis of our freedom. Uh, Governor Rick Perry, who endorsed the book, we were all talking one night, and he said, you know, these are timeless virtues that are at the foundation of our freedom. And I thought that was a great comment. Uh, Cindy, to you as a parent, and, and actually Jeremy alludes to this, have you had other parents look to you and say, okay, what can I do as a parent to infuse this kind of attitude in my children? Because I think that, you know, in many regards, th- this is an experience and, 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 an, and a story that, to Jeremy's point, uh, goes further than just Danny and and just you and your husband. This goes to this has the opportunity to be a good pathway. What what do you tell those parents? Do they do they first question? Do they ask you? And then the second is what do you what do you tell them? Absolutely, I've had numerous parents reach out to me, and um, you know, after reading um, some parts of the book and and ask questions on 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 how. You know, they they may be handling a different situation with mm-hmm. their child, but they want to know how uh, how I would handle that particular situation. And and by all means, you know, DJ was my oldest child. I made many mistakes. 
uh, raising him. And then my daughter, Tiffany, I got better. And then with Eric, I got even better. And I don't say better, I mean maybe more kind of, laxed. Uh, yeah. And um, so absolutely they, they, they you, reach out to me and they, we, they we, ask. And, and it's quite an honor to me because I'm just a normal, everyday person that raised three children that I love, that was blessed mm-hmm. to raise three children that I love very much. And one of them was born to be a Navy SEAL. What was the, what was the well, other I one? Just wondered if, and, and I wondered if what, what you tell parents when you're, when they um, ask you about their circumstance or they tell you about their circumstances, what do you tell them? Because obviously they, they would like their children to have the same qualities, virtues, as it's described in the book. I, I, and I was, I, when you said uh, you, you made a lot of, quote, a lot of mistakes with Danny, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, so you're one of those parents like, like I was. I, I couldn't find the instruction manual when our first child <laughs> came to us. <laughs> no, unfortunately, they don't come with one. <laughs> Somewhere you, printed you, in you small print on the front. Yeah. And, and, and you make one mistake, and then you have another yeah. one child, yeah. and, you, and you don't make those mistakes ever again. <laughs> But, but what do you tell? Uh, at what, least you try not. What do you tell that parent who's fearful I, for their child? I tell them to, to to never give up. I mean, I never gave up on my DJ. Mm-hmm. Um, I never gave up on my Tiffany. I never gave up on my Eric. Right. And I never will. Jeremy, as you were writing the book, did you uh, look to the parents for some understanding of what were the ingredients, if you will, in in Jeremy's life? Did you did things sort of come at you that you said, okay, well, gee, I see where this is coming from? I think Cindy gave it to you. You know, as a father, two small daughters, you know, you never give up. I remember one chilling, and I mean that in a good way, conversation that I had with Dan and Cindy, where Dan said, you know, at one point he was just kind of he didn't know what to do, um, uh, and in some situations, and Cindy looked him in the eye and said, we will never give up on him, and uh, and I think she she's given you a bit of the recipe. You know, what, I, what I've always liked about these two is that their authenticity and their realness. And, and you just heard, you know, Cindy say that. You know, we weren't by any means perfect. But at the same time, I had a, Navy, I had a captain in the Navy who, who leads the training, or at that time led training for the Navy SEALs. And his words to me were, I'm thankful every day for the mothers of my Navy SEALs. Boy, I, I want to end it right there because I think it's an important observation. And... As much as this is an honor to to DJ, it is almost as much as it's an honor to you and your husband. Yep. I mean, I, Jeremy, am I am I thinking correctly on that? Oh no, I, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and, and and I think when you when people read the book, that's what they see. They they see like all of us who are parents, imperfect people trying to figure it out without right. the instruction manual. And I think it is absolutely. It should be a salute to Cindy and to Dan and the struggles they had and, and the victories and, and seeing their, their son become this uh, phenomenal Navy SEAL. But he had it within him, and that's my big argument to people. He had these values and virtues in him before he left that house. You're not born with that. You are born to be a SEAL. I do believe that. But he had this stuff in him, and, and you, those are conversations at the dinner table. Those are life lessons that I believe you're absolutely on mark. Cindy, uh, it, is, it is truly an honor to you, to your husband, uh, to the entire family, bro- the siblings. Um, and, and, and I, again, repeat what uh, Connie always says. Um, Danny volunteered. All of you got drafted. Uh, we've got a caller standing by. I want to go to John very quickly. John, I'm going to ask you if you could be very quick with this. I've got to uh, go to a break. John? You're talking about something I can't be short with. Miss Cindy, to you and your husband as a Vietnam veteran, if I can hold it together here, I love your son and you and your husband more than you can ever know. I have to say to you, sir, something that is not said enough, and I want to tell you welcome home and thank you for your thank, service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. You're wonderful. I appreciate that. Cindy Dietz and, of course, Jeremy Dunlap, the book. Danny, The Virtues Within. We're by the way, posting that on our Facebook page. I want to thank you all for your participation this evening. Uh, very kind of you. And because, uh, Cindy, I, 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 it's a wound, and 
I, my de- I desperately apologize for uh, focusing on that, but I do so greatly appreciate uh, your contribution. And uh, Jeremy, outstanding book. Thank you, sir, for your time. Well, thank, thank you. you and thank you. It's so an honor. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> it's an honor for us. Thank you very much. I'm going to chat with you briefly off air because I, hopefully we can work uh, possibly an opportunity to do more with your book. You're listening, of course, to Viewpoints here on the talk station, FM 107, AM 1240. Hey, this is Ben Ball, and we'll get your morning started each weekday from 6 to 9 on Coastal Daybreak.